Draw every day with JJK. Hi friends, I'm Jarrett Krasowska and I'm an author and an illustrator and perhaps you joined me yesterday uh, and if you did it was great to have you here at my studio here in Northampton, Massachusetts and if not, uh, welcome. Uh, what we're doing here is we're drawing every single day and I'm going to be drawing live uh, and we're, this is live. Uh, today is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I, I'm wearing green. I went to my closet to uh, quickly look for something green before I went live and the only thing I could find was uh, this old staff t shirt of mine. I used to work at the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp in Ashford, Connecticut, and it's just an amazing place. Uh, most people know the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp as, as that camp uh, that Paul Newman started. Uh, and if you're wondering, was Paul Newman as handsome in person uh, as he was on film? And the answer is no, uh, he was significantly handsomer. Uh, so, this is why I'm wearing green and the Hole in the Wall Gang camp and my family there is just such an amazing place. Um, we're going to be drawing live here every day and as we go on, it's going to become a little bit more interactive. Uh, Grown-ups will be able to give live suggestions for me on my other social media channels. And uh, I want to talk to you about uh, the fact that when I, when I was a kid, I just I love to draw and you know that I, I've talked about that um, but I want to show is a big part of how I learned how to draw was by copying art that other artists created so when I was a little kid I'd often sit on the floor of my grandparents house and I would draw Garfield and Snoopy all of those awesome characters from the comic strips that I loved reading in the newspaper every day in middle school I thought maybe I'd be an animator when I grew up so I was studying animation and drawing Disney characters and learning how to animate. And then when I was in high school, I was drawing uh, a lot, I was reading a lot of superhero comics. So I was uh, drawing a lot of superheroes, uh, which uh, gave me very unrealistic uh, expectations for my fitness. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, learning how to draw emotions. Um, and let me, uh, let me get my, my camera ready. Now, some of you might be drawing with me in this very moment. Uh, some of you might just be watching for pure entertainment for now and, and maybe drawing later. There are some great suggestions that people had uh, for me on social media about slowing down a bit. So I'll try to take it at a bit of a slower pace, but remember these videos will be archived and you can go back to them whenever you want and you can pause and make me go as slow as you need to. So I'm going to switch out my cameras. I'm going to do something like this today. All right, split screen. Now, a big part of my job as the illustrator is to, is my, my, the Kubrick is biggest, almost only job, my job as the illustrator is to uh, tell the stories to the pictures. And a big part of telling the story to the pictures is showing how the character feels. And I do that by drawing their facial expressions. And I find that when I'm sitting here in my art studio, I am often making the faces that my characters are making here on the page. And I might not even mean to, it might just be just something that I do. But as an illustrator, you're also kind of an actor and you're inhabiting the roles of these various characters in your books or your comics. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm just going to draw a circle for each expression. I'm not gonna draw ears, I'm not gonna draw hair, I'm not gonna draw neck or body, because it's really all here in the face. So when you're very happy, may everyone watching this, make a really happy face and feel what that does to your face. When you smile really big, it pushes your cheek muscles up and then you get a little line underneath your eyes. So when I draw my character and I have a line underneath their eyes like so, my character already looks really happy. The character is smiling with their eyes. Okay, so that's a happy face.
Now, sometimes we're really angry. So I want to make a really mad and angry face. And when you're really angry, your brows get cross, it squishes together your forehead. And when you're really angry, you tend to tilt your head down and look up at the source of your anger. Maybe your character is so angry that they're grinding their teeth. Now, sometimes we're really sad. So everybody watching, please make a sad face. When you're really sad, your eyebrows shoot up. When you're really, really sad, you don't just frown. Your bottom lip comes out and that is called a pout and and a little pout is way more pathetic than just a frown looking down and then just a sad face now what if what if you're really really scared when you're scared your eyes grow wide and your pupils are surrounded by the white of your eyes do you see how here and here the pupils are touching the circle part of the eyes right the round part and there they're dead center that makes the character look really scared. What if you're like, what if you're like really, really tired and you're like so tired that you just like, you can't even. And when you're so tired, your muscles don't have the energy to work. And that includes the muscles in your face. So fairly expressionless and those eyelids are going to be covering the top part of the eyes and, and the pupils. And what if you're just like really confused? Like you have like no idea what's going on. Like you, like none of this is making any sense. It's kind of like, you know, the rock. One eyebrow goes down, one eyebrow goes up. And the mouth does something to say, hmm, hmm. Now, you might have all sorts of stories to tell. Your stories might be about humans. However, your story, your story might, be, might be about an animal. I mean, maybe, you know, let me get a color here. Maybe your story takes place on a farm and your character is a pig. Maybe. Your story takes place in a forest and your character is an angry bear. Now, some animals will have different appendages that we don't have. And, and that can help you have the character emote, which means to show expression. So it could be, it could be that your character is uh, an elephant. And what does an elephant have? An elephant has a big long trunk and big floppy ears. But that trunk can really help the character show facial expressions. So if you were a sad elephant, that trunk would come down. But if you were a scared elephant, that trunk would come up. Now, maybe your character is a bunny rabbit, right? A bunny rabbit has Buck teeth, little nose, some whiskers, but those two floppy ears. Those two floppy ears can really show a lot of expression. So if your character is tired, those ears can come flopping down like so. In fact, one of my books is called, it's called Naptastrophe. 
And this book was originally about a human kid. But it's about a kid who does not want to nap. And it's just a total nap catastrophe. And so I wanted to be able to use those floppy ears to help express how tired that bunny rabbit character is. Now, maybe your character isn't even of this world. Maybe it's some kind of alien and they have antennae that are going everywhere. Okay, let's um, just take a pause on drawing for a moment and let's check in on something important. I'm talking, of course, about the Pokem! Oh, dear Frankie boy! How's the Frankie boy doing? Oh, dear Frankie. Now, you might be confused. This is Frank. Our other dog is named Ralph Macchio. And uh, if you were wondering why we have a pillow of uh, Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio, Ralph Macchio from those Karate Kid days, uh, the Karate Kid is my wife Gina's first crush. And that is the name of our first dog. Okay, so... At the end of every, uh, at the end of every drawing lesson, again, we're going to have some family drawing time. And so we're going to have a moment of... Collaboration Chaos! All right, I am joined today by my middle kid, Lucia. Lucia's nickname is Lucky, which is perfect today for St. Patrick's Day. Lucky, could you say hi to everyone watching at home? Hi. Now, it's funny because I wasn't planning on talking about Naptastrophe today. But when I was drawing the bunny, it made me think of Naptastrophe. And it was inspired by this one. Do you remember being real little? And you would say, I'm not tired. <laughs> yes. And then you wouldn't nap. Mm -hmm. And then it was just chaos. <laughs> and today we're talking about collaboration chaos. So, again... Uh, with all collaborations, I do like to have uh, each artist pick a different color uh, to so you can sort of trace back. Uh, Lucia, what uh, color would you like to use? Purple. Purple. I'm going to choose blue, and I'm going to switch to... Uh, nope, not that one. Hold on. I'm going to switch from this to this. There we go. Now, in this, in this exercise, uh, each artist is going to take a moment to um, draw a shape and add. So, so, Lucky, would you like to be the first person to draw, or would you like to be the second person to draw? First. The first person to draw. Okay, Lucia, Lucky, Lucia, go at it. Go for it. Okay. Perfect. It's a nice little simple shape, and I'm going to add to that okay um and we have no idea what we're doing we have no plan which makes it so much fun and the beauty of improv which this really is an improv improvisational game is that you don't know where you're going. So sort of the rules of improv when you're in acting is you say yes and. So you say, I'm gonna see what you just drew and I'm going to add this. Okay. And it's fun to take things in a bit of an unexpected direction. Did you expect tentacles? No. <laughs> Nor did I go into this thinking, I bet I'm going to end up drawing tentacles. OK. 
Hey. Kind of looks like an octopus lady. It does look like an octopus lady. Like a octo maid instead of a mermaid. Kind of. All right. Do you want to? Do you want to say we're done on this one? Because sometimes you might say, you know what, I like the way it is. Yeah. Should we start a new one? Yeah. Okay. Fresh piece of paper here. All right, Lucky Lucia. I'm going to go first this time. Okay. Okay, only fair. Mm. And again, just like the scribble game, if you want to move things around, there are there there really are no rules to this these kind of games. Looks like to me. It looks like a her. I thought at first a teardrop, but then I thought, well, maybe a Hershey kiss. And then I thought one of those cookies that have the Hershey kisses like right in the center. Oh, yeah. We just had lunch, so we're kind of hungry for dessert. So yeah. maybe that's where my mind is. Okay, why don't you add something? Also, Luke? at a Halloween party, we had like these cookies and then like a Hershey kiss on it, which supposed to be a witch hat that's right we have we have a big halloween party every year and we make these cookies that, that look like witch hats okay. oh is that a rake mm, it's a broom oh it's a broom oh okay because it's a witch and then oh you know what? So I'm going to add a cauldron with some smoke coming out. Okay. Wait, is that the mouth? It can be whatever you'd like okay. it for to be. You can add on whatever you'd like. Wait, I think I should add something for the nose. Oh, a wart! I was thinking about a wart too. I'm gonna add two teeth like that, and then kill it. You do one. You do one. You because I started, so you finish this one. I think it needs tail. Oh, high five. Excellent work. Okay, so we want to thank you so much for watching today. Again, this will be available for replay. We will have another draw every day tomorrow and every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for the time being. We hope that you have enjoyed yourself. We hope that you get to making. Now, uh, I'd like to, sh like I said earlier yesterday, I talked about how when you're in art class, you get to see what everyone makes. And I learned a little bit about how to put something out there on social media and then how, how I can grab some of the art. So we're going to do two separate things. If you are on Instagram, if you tag me in your story, I will repost that to Instagram stories. So you could share uh, those Instagram stories uh, with your young artist. If I'm going to, I'm going to also post on Facebook the replay of this video, under that, and I'll put instructions in the post, you can post the photo. So there's some problems yesterday in the commenting, I fixed that. And I'm going to choose a bunch at random. I wish that I could include every single drawing at the end of these shows, but if you can post something by like say midnight or something, because what I'll do is I'll wake up early tomorrow, I'll collect a bunch and I'm gonna embed them in the video I'm about to share with you. Uh, these photos have brought me so much joy uh, and as they have just uh, brought me so much life. I, and it's so exciting to see all of the art that you all are creating. So thank you for stopping by. Lucky, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye.
All right, we'll see you soon. We'll see you Please tomorrow. click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.